Hey everybody, it's Jess. I am here with another Valentine's Day card for my week long of Valentine's Day cards. And today we're just starting off with a simple card base. It's a snow white card base from Hero Arts. And this piece of paper from this My Mind's Eye paper pack. And I'm choosing this particular paper because I think that it kind of looks like um, a honeycomb and I'm gonna be using a B on the card. So I wanted to have a kind of a play on that. And because the edges of this particular piece of paper are distressed, I wanted to make sure that it looked uniform the whole way around. So instead of trimming it down, I am just going to adhere it onto the front of the card and then trim around it. I don't usually like to do it this way. I don't feel like it gives me as clean of a cut. But for this particular um, piece of paper, I felt like that would just be the easiest way to do it. So now I'm just taking this little speech bubble die cut, and that is actually from Simon Says Stamp. It comes in a set of three, and there's also a coordinating stamp set that goes with it. Super cute, and they cut seriously like butter. It's super smooth and nice to use in your die cut machine. So I just ran that through on a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock, and I'm just making sure I don't lose any of the little um, bubbles that come off of the big bubble. Or the little dots I guess and I'm taking this little B this is actually from the Lawn Fawns release that they did I think at the beginning of December it's the B mine set it's just a little um, 399 set and it's really cute you can do a lot of fun things with it and I thought it would be perfect for this little Valentine's Day series sorry for my big old head in there but I just am stamping the B and the heart in memento black ink and then I'm going in and taking the B mine sentiment and stamping that on that little die cut as well. So I just think that that looks really cute in that little um, speech bubble and it fit the little scene pretty perfectly. <laughs> so I'm taking this yellow um, distress, or not distress, oh boy, this yellow Copic marker. I think it's Y18, Y19, I'm not for sure. Napoli yellow, I think is what it is. And then I'm also taking the 110, that's the special black, and just going over the little B. I'm not doing any shading or anything. It's really kind of too tiny for that. And then one thing I like to do on wings or things that are supposed to be like translucent or white is to outline them in this, it's a BG10, it's cool shadow. And I just use it just to give it a little bit more depth. And I'm going around the little tail there as well with this one. And this is my favorite one to use this with. Um, B00 is also pretty good, but I just, I don't know, I like the little kind of tealy hint this has to it. So I'm just going to um, arrange my little bubble on there and get my little dots all lined up and kind of mess with how I want those to go. And then I'm taking this 3D foam tape. This is um, the Be Creative tape that I always pick up at Simon Says Stamp. It's like, I think $1.50 for that whole sheet, which is a really great value for pop dots. And they just started making it in circles, which is fun because they only used to make it in squares. So sometimes it's nice to have that rounded shape. So I'm just popping that up on the card using some of those little circles there. And then for the little dots, I'm trying to decide what um, glue, I guess, would be the best. And I'm using this little, it's a, got a chisel, not chisel, a bullet tip um, nib on it. And it's a two-way glue pen. And so I'm just getting it going there on the side on some scratch paper. And it is just so handy for these little tiny um, elements that you want to put on your card. And you don't get glue everywhere. It goes on blue and it dries clear. And then I just grabbed my tweezers there to kind of help me get everything in place since those pieces were so small. So I grabbed a piece of paper from that same My Mind's Eye paper pack. And I'm running it through my Big Shot using this die from Memory Box. I I'm not sure what the name of it is. It's a lot of little hearts, <laughs> but I'll link it on my blog so you guys can be sure in case you wanted to pick it up. But it, it is perfect for making little heart embellishments on your card. They also have a little butterfly one that I like as well. But it just gives you a nice variety of sizes. I think there's four sizes total in there. And you can just do a lot of fun things with these. You could do it on the front of a card like... Um, you know, as sort of a die cut out of the front of your card, or you can do like I'm doing here, which is taking the little hearts and using them as sort of create your own embellishment. 
So I spent quite a while trying to decide how I wanted to arrange everything on the front of the card. But I decided it's it's usually best to work in threes um, when it comes to embellishments. So I went ahead and did three little heart bursts there. And I am layering the larger one with a couple of littler ones just for a little added interest, I guess. And I've been really into using my tweezers uh, for those little elements. It makes it so much easier. So I'm taking this Spica pen. This is a Copic glitter pen, and that one is actually the, I think it's Midnight Black. I'm not for sure. I'll link that again. And then I'm taking the yellow one as well. And I could just use a regular silver glitter pen, but these just really pop off the card because they're actually black and yellow glitter. And I'm rounding the corners, and that's it for today's card. Thanks so much for watching, you guys.